All right, so that's what we're doing. Cool. But we do have this... It feels like lately, the more I... There's a lot of dystopian novels. I'm fascinated by them. Love 1984. Like mm-hmm. Brave New World more. No, I didn't. I like 1984 For more than Brave New World. Time. What about... Um, what's a book that someone... Like, every Catholic's like, you got to read this, and you're ready. You're like, that sucked. So Ooh. you ever had a book like that where like everyone's like, this is so good, and you read it, you're like, I just can't get Well, it. okay, not that it sucked, but I could not get into Story of a Soul. Okay. I couldn't get into like this French girl the talking French sap- about like bonbons yeah. and stuff. I just... Did she say bonbons? I think maybe. I don't, what are bonbons? <laughs> the little chocolate covered things. That- yeah, she liked them, I think. So <laughs> chocolate eclairs or something. That was her favorite dessert. <laughs> but I couldn't get into that. Someone though- told me she was chubby. <laughs> I'm serious. Why would that matter, dude? <laughs> I'm just saying it's. I, why do, I don't. I don't know. Someone told me that she though. was beautiful. When I see that Joan of Arc photo of her, oh, that's great. I want to marry her. Do you like the little way? I mean, you have to. I get it, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, what does it mean? What does the little way mean? Will you tell me? I think her idea was that she looked at the saints, and next to them, it was like looking at a gigantic mountain, and she was a grain of sand and Mm -hmm. she wanted to know how that she could love jesus and she ended up saying that it was the elevator her his arms the an elevator that could lift her up so she didn't have to walk up the hard staircase Mm -hmm. of perfection that jesus would do it for her still don't really know what that means um i guess the little way has to do with like loving in the small things and like duty of the moment stuff is that what that means well i think this is this is one of my big things is that i think that uh, some people think that's what it means you know small things with great love Right, that crow that Mother Teresa actually said, but they say it's her. Mm. But I think I think more of it is the little way seems to be that I'm little, mm. and that I trust my poverty, my littleness, to His mercy, to His love. That He's nothing but merciful love, and He wants to fill up whatever small me. So I don't have to be big. I don't have to be impressive. I don't have to have anything. I just have to have trust. I just mm. have to trust that He loves me as I am, and He wants to provide everything. I think that's the heart of the little way. I one time had a you know Monsignor Esif. You went on a retreat with him. Yep. I was talk. I was reading. Uh, I read the book more recent Therese. All right, that's. Uh, Do you ever read that book? Mm. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's letters between the little flower and a seminarian Maurice, who then becomes a priest. And you don't. He doesn't say exactly what sins he's struggling with, but you feel like it's sexual sins, mm. a lot of shame, all this stuff. And he keeps saying, "I hope you don't die and go to heaven, because then you'll see all my sins." Oh. She goes, "I don't think you understand. I'd see them like Christ does, with nothing but mercy." Glory. And it's over and over and over again. She's like assuring him, "There's only mercy. There's only." Mer-. She goes, "I look. I only look at myself for a moment to see my sins. Then I look right back at Him who has mercy on me." Like so, she's not indwelled in self nasal gazing, right? Yeah. She's just looking at the one who loves her. But uh, so I read that once all the way through, and I was reading it through. Only book ever I got to the last page and went right back to the first page, read it all through again. Mm, and I was with Monsignor Estef, and I'm telling him, like, yeah, I think I just need to be little. This and he goes, you don't be little. You be you. That's all you need to do. You be you. Yeah. And he goes, that's don't worry good. if it's a little bigger or little. That's you just good. be you. And I thought that's kind of what she's still trying to say, actually. It's like she recognized herself to be really little, but she was just her. Yeah. And I think that's all he wants. I mean, you wouldn't ask a John Paul II, you should be a little more little. You shouldn't be in the public eye. That wouldn't be helpful. Right. Or Robert Barron, you shouldn't do YouTube videos. You should just mm-hmm. be. That's not, that wouldn't be, that's not the little way. Mm-hmm. The, like, the little way really is the sense of like, whatever I am, I'm given to Jesus and he'll take care of the rest in his mercy. He's nothing but merciful love. Yeah. And that's pretty powerful. Yeah. I mean, even doing like YouTube videos like this or a pints, I mean, there's mm-hmm. so many minutes of me speaking and saying things incorrectly. Like sometimes I'll re-listen to something rarely, but if I do, yeah. I'm like, oh wow, I just said the, ex- like the wrong word that didn't make sense that sentence, you know, or I'll say things and I'll feel embarrassed about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but at my best, I give it to our Lord mm-hmm. and say, this is about you. This right. is not about me. You know how quickly people will forget me when I'm dead? Like how quickly they'll forget you. They yeah. won't care. Our bishop always says he walks down the hallway every day that has portraits of every bishop that's gone before him. And he realizes, all I'm going to be is be the next portrait. Yeah. That's it. And I know very little about these people. Mm-hmm. And I don't care to know, maybe, unless I'm a historian for some reason. Like we just had a, our father, Deacon Michael, God rest him, beautiful man. He, he recently died and it was sad for the whole community you know but all right cool no. i don't think about him now and if i died tomorrow whatever mm. people would be like oh wow okay yeah oh my gosh it's so sad like cameron does you have a gofundme account <laughs> you know, that's exactly. what you do um yeah but it's just like someone said it struck me that at, after my funeral at the reception the number one question people will be asking is where's the potato salad that's powerful. That's humbling. Right? Do you think about death a lot? 
Um, and I, I go to two extremes. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I'm out of this world. Other times I get scared to death by it. I was on a plane flying to New Hampshire the other day and I experienced the greatest turbulence I had ever mm-hmm. experienced before. And it's embarrassing when you're on the earth and you kind of wish you hadn't have reacted like it. But I'm like, oh, I'm, di- I'm going to die. That's happening right now. So I just sat in my prayer like, Lord Jesus, like, I give, I'm so sorry. I repent of all my sin. I love you. I praise you. I beg your forgiveness and pardon for all the ways I've offended you and my family. You know, it was beautiful. Yeah. So I'm glad that's my response, but it's, yeah. it was terrifying, you know? Mm. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you will absolutely love the full interview. So click right there to enjoy the whole thing. Also, a big thanks to these groups who made that interview possible. Learn more in the show notes below about these guys. They're absolutely incredible and honored to have them as sponsors. Oh, and also, if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe and then that bell button. That way, YouTube will be forced to let you know when we put out more content.